What is up you guys? It is Zach and welcome back to my channel. Now, let's do a little uh learning with Zach, shall we? All right, class. First question, which one of you can tell me who is the person that said Mario Kart 9 literally makes no sense and that it probably won't happen anytime soon? Yes, you. Zack Pack. That is correct. Zack Pack. Second question to the class. Uh, well, this is one that anyone can answer. Just raise your hand if you agree or keep it down if you disagree. How many people agreed with Zack Pack when he said this? Okay, how many people disagreed with Zack Pack when he said this? Aha, there we go. See, everyone disagreed with Zack Pack, and that was the wrong decision because Mario Kart 9 ain't happening. All these leakers and insiders that said, oh, Mario Kart 9 is coming soon. Mario Kart 10 or Mario Kart Crossroads is coming soon. Nintendo Kart's coming soon. There's going to be a big twist, so get excited. Yeah, well, that ain't happening. There is no new Mario Kart here. So, yeah, good job, insiders, for getting everyone's hopes up so that people were inevitably disappointed when Mario Kart 8 Deluxe ended up getting DLC. I feel like people have really come to terms with this now and aren't really mad at the fact that it's DLC. People are still upset about the visuals of it, which I won't really get into because that's not the point of today's video. The actual point of today's video is I'm going to be saying my top 40 most wanted courses for uh, the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC. Now two big points uh, with this list though. Firstly, like I said, this is a list of courses I want. This is not a predictions list. If you want me to predict what Mario Kart courses will probably come to this DLC, look at the courses that are in tour. Those are most likely the uh, Mario Kart courses we are going to end up getting. Second of all, this list is in no particular order. I'm not going from least want to want or most want to least want. This is just a general list of courses I want. And I'm going to try and go through these relatively quickly so I don't keep you here all day. So I'm only going to talk in depth or at least like have a little spiel about particular courses some courses i'll just kind of say oh this is the course i want and then others i'll go into a little more detail and a little more explanation so without any further ado guys let's get started on the list first i have ghost valley 1 from super mario kart next i have donut planes 2 from super mario kart Next up, I have Mushroom Bridge from Mario Kart Double Dash. Now, I actually really, really like this course. I'm really surprised that it isn't in 8 at all. I really hope you can still do the thing where you drive up the arches of the bridges. I always find the shortcut fun, even if I always fell off a lot of the time. Next up is Sherbert Land from Mario Kart 64. Next up is Delfino Square from Mario Kart DS. I always loved when Mario Kart took locations from actual Mario games and made actual uh, courses out of them. And uh, this is no exception. I would love for this one to return, especially in HD. Mwah, beautiful. Next up is Daisy Cruiser from Mario Kart Double Dash. Really like this course. Really want it to return. Next up is Mushroom City from Mario Kart Double Dash. Again, another really fun one. And I really like the nighttime city aesthetic of this one. It's really, really cool. Next up is Luigi's Mansion from Mario Kart DS. Like with Delfino Square, another course based on an actual Mario game, and it's a really, really good one. I hope it makes it back. And since it's in tour, I actually think this one stands a good chance to come back. Next up is New York Minute from Mario Kart Tour. Despite popular belief, I actually have played uh, Mario Kart Tour, and I actually kind of like it, and this is a really good one, and being from New York City, I'm kind of biased here. Next up is Broken Pier from Mario Kart Super Circuit. Next is Mushroom Gorge from Mario Kart Wii. I actually really, really like this course. I really liked at the time the bouncing on the mushrooms to get your tricks. I know this was like, I know nowadays it's not really that big of a thing, but I think that was like one of the first courses to really do that. And uh, I thought it was really cool. Next up is Toad's Factory from Mario Kart Wii. Next up is Peach Beach from Mario Kart Double Dash. Then we have Airship Fortress from Mario Kart DS. I really like this course. I did not realize how much I really like this course until I played it in Mario Kart Tour. Really good. Next up is Maka Woohoo from Mario Kart 7. Big shout out to Nintendo Hero because I know you like Woohoo Island and this is a really fun course. I really like it. Next up is Maple Tree Wave from Mario Kart Wii. Then we have Banshee Boardwalk from Mario Kart 64. Then we have Boo Lake from Mario Kart Super Circuit. Next, we have Bowser's Castle from Mario Kart Double Dash. I really like this one. This is my favorite Bowser Castle course, so I really want this to return. Plus, the music is, I mean, I guess kind of nostalgic, but it's also just really, really good. Next up, we have Dino Dino Jungle from Mario Kart Double Dash. Then we have Wario Coliseum, also from Mario Kart Double Dash. Next, we have Rosalina's Ice World from Mario Kart 7. 
Next, we have Yoshi Falls from Mario Kart DS. I think this is actually one of my favorite Mario Kart DS tracks. It's, I think it's a pretty underrated one. Next, we have Bowser's Castle 2 from Mario Kart Super Circuit. Then we have Sydney Sprint from Mario Kart Tour. Then we have Bowser's Castle from Mario Kart DS. Next, we have DK Mountain from Mario Kart Double Dash. Bet you guys thought I might have forgotten this one, but this was a really, really fun one. I hope it makes it back. Next up is Rock Rock Mountain from Mario Kart 7. Kind of like Airship Fortress. I didn't appreciate this one at the time, but it's actually really, really good. I quite like it. Next up, we have Waluigi Pinball from Mario Kart DS, an absolute classic. If this one isn't in the DLC, not only will I be disappointed, but I'm also going to be really surprised. It is a huge fan favorite. Next up, we have DK Jungle Parkway from Mario Kart 64. Next, we have Koopa Cape from Mario Kart Wii. Next, we have Koopa Troopa Beach from Mario Kart 64. Next, we have Waluigi Stadium from Mario Kart Double Dash. Next, we have Snowland from Mario Kart Super Circuit. Okay, now you can start to see that I'm maybe starting to reach a little bit, but Snowland's not a horrible course, but, you know, it, it, it's definitely on the lower end. Don't think I'm absolutely loving this course. Next up is Shy Guy Bazaar from Mario Kart 7. Just like the other two, Mario Kart Tour made me really, really like this one. I love the aesthetics, I love the design. It's just a really good course overall. Next up, we have Koopa Beach 2 for Super Mario Kart. Then we have DK Summit for Mario Kart Wii. This is actually a really, really good one. Kind of like with Mushroom Gorge, this one's another one where I really started to appreciate all the tricks you can do when you're do going up the half pipes and you can do your tricks when you jump off of them. Really, really well-designed course, and I really hope it makes it back. Next up, we have Kalamari Desert from Mario Kart 64. Then we have Merry Mountain from Mario Kart Tour. And lastly, we have Rainbow Road from Mario Kart Wii. So there you guys have it. Those are the 40 courses I personally would love to see return for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's DLC. Let me know what courses you want to see come back in the comments down below. I would truly love to hear what you all have to say. You don't have to type out 40. You can type out however many as you want. It could be 10, could be 5, could be even 1. Just leave me all that information down in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you all have to say. And uh, I don't really have much else to say besides thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, definitely make sure to leave a like. It truly helps out the channel. And of course, subscribe and hit that little notification bell so that you're notified of all the content I upload on this channel. And uh, yeah, so until next time, you guys, I'll see you all in the next video.